Hello, I'm Deanna Robbins and I am Miss Jamaica World 2012 and my project is empowering or marginalized youth through education. When you hear of Jamaica, you immediately think of the beautiful landscape, white sand beaches, reggae music and Bob Marley, Usain Bolt and Olympic gold and our rich Jamaican cultural heritage. However, in Kingston where I live, beneath the hustle and bustle of the city, there's a growing concern for some marginalized youth who are most at risk of missing out on their education. Many of these young people find themselves living in the margin of society with their spirits filled with helplessness and drive them to a life of antisocial behavior. Even before participating in the Miss Jamaica pageant, I became a part of the Youth Development Program at the local YMCA, which targets youth at risk who are frequently seen on the streets of Kingston begging, hustling, and wiping car windscreens. Many of these young people cannot read, and this adds to their frustration and impacts on their reasoning abilities. Also, many of them do not have positive role models in their lives. We bring these young people into the program and they are tutored in various subject areas, such as math, English language, and the sciences. I am extremely humbled by this experience and it gives me sincere joy when I can share with them and contribute directly to their development. At the end of the program, the children sit the grade nine achievement test and are enrolled in high schools. Today we have over 100 children from the ages of 12 to 14 enrolled in the program. The Youth Development Program is a program which is run by the Kingston YMCA. It was once called the Street Corner Boys Program, changed to now the Youth Development Program. What it does is provide students who have dropped out of the regular school system. Diana, Miss Jamaica, has been one of our volunteers and she has worked with three of the youngsters who were really low function. One of the youngsters, Amai, she, who really could not read, is now doing extremely well and we really want to congratulate her and to thank her for her intervention in helping to mold the life of a youngster who probably thought he would never have made it. I could not read and write and Miss Robbins helped me. Thank you, Miss Robbins. Jamaicans have been so generous with their contribution to the program, but we still struggle to make ends meet in order to provide the needed services to these young people. I passionately believe that I can help create opportunities by empowering through education. I believe I can make a difference and working here with the youth at risk has allowed me the opportunity to fully embrace the philosophy, beauty with a purpose. Thanks. Thanks.